Dr. Murkowski, you have a comment? I do, I do Mr. And thank you, and, and thank you to the, to the chairman of the subcommittee and the ranking member for, for their good work. Uh, I want to, to thank you for the inclusion of a provision in the manager's amendment that will uh, require some additional reporting on the interaction with the VA uh, and the state prescription drug monitoring programs. We've talked a lot about opioid abuse and all that we're doing. We have directed lots of money, billions of dollars in that direction. And one of the things that we have identified is that when you don't have systems that are talking with one another, there can be hmm. abuses within the, within the systems because one provider that is prescribing doesn't know what the other is providing. So our states are working on this, but our, but our agencies need to do that as well. So within the VA system, within the IHS system, within the DOD system, and so we have required that there be that level of reporting, but we've also heard that there's been a little bit of slowness, the systems are slow. It can't be. It can't be, mm -hmm. because, uh, again, we see too many concerns that arise out of this. So I, I thank colleagues for, for working with me on that. And I want to acknowledge Senator Tester for the provision that he has included in the manager's amendment regarding the uh, facility requirements for women veterans. I hear from a lot of our, <coughs> of our female veterans who express concerns about the facilities not just being welcoming to a woman, and I, I use that term um, with a little bit of quotations, but just it needs to be a place for all veterans, and uh, given the number of, of female veterans uh, that we have now around the country, we want to make sure that the services uh, are there for them in ways that work for all. So uh, again, I thank colleagues for great work, and, and to the chairman and the ranking member particularly for their <coughs> efforts here.